It's America's newest federal holiday, Juneteenth, commemorating the end of slavery. Cities across the country marking the occasion with parades and concerts. This is the third year of celebration since President Joe Biden gave Juneteenth federal status in 2021. Jen Sullivan looks at the highlights of the festivities across the, the country and the historic significance behind this holiday. Cities across the country celebrating Juneteenth, a federal holiday marking the end of slavery. One of the nation's largest parades held in Philadelphia. Marches bringing people together in Denver. It makes you see that the it's not just you, you're not alone. And in Washington, D.C., festivals lined the streets. This holiday is about celebrating freedom from slavery. As hard as that is to even say, that's the reality. While cities are filled with colorful celebrations this holiday, the road to end slavery was a much darker time in American history. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, ending slavery in the U.S. But news of liberation slowly spread across the South. It took more than two years for the news to reach the final enslaved group in Galveston, Texas. That day was June 19, 1865, 158 years ago. The country, the nation, the government had people in bondage. It was ugly. But now is a time that we can show the world that America doesn't stay in bondage that it actually comes forth. Monday, the city of Galveston marking the birthplace of what is now Juneteenth, a day of liberation now celebrated across the country. To celebrate one of our nation's founding principles, the principle of freedom. I'm Jen Sullivan reporting.